Hi, my name is Balaji Shishadri and I'm a product marketing manager at Microchip Technology. Today, I would like to share details on our low-cost Curiosity development boards that feature our PIC32MM family of extreme low-power microcontrollers. These devices are ideal for low-power, consumer, industrial control, gaming consoles, medical instruments, digital audio, and automation control applications. Let's take a deeper look at the low-cost Curiosity development boards ideal for evaluation and rapid prototyping. The PIC32MM Curiosity Development Board is a simple and easy-to-use platform that facilitates quick PIC32MM GPL evaluation, experimentation, and application prototyping. At the heart of this board is the Extreme Low Power PIC32MM0064 GPL036, a 36-pin UQFN device featuring ECC flash memory of 64 KB and sleep modes with RAM retention under 500 nanoamps. The board comes with a fully integrated programmer slash debugger, a pick it on board supported via a USB connector requiring no additional hardware to get started. The board features a Microelectronica microbus interface enabling users to add sensors, connectivity and other functionality to their application using the ClickBoard ecosystem. The board also features a variety of user interface options like the potentiometer, RGB LED and general purpose LEDs for demo purposes and comes with a prototyping area for user-defined circuits. It also offers complete access to the core independent peripherals such as CLC, RTCCs, and MCCPs via the I.O. headers giving complete control to the embedded designers. To help users get started quickly, the PIC32MM Curiosity Development Board is pre-programmed with a RGB color mixing application. In this demo, the potentiometer can be used to independently adjust each color channel's intensity while the S1, S2 push buttons are used to select the channel to be adjusted in a cyclic order. For example, upon reset, the potentiometer first controls the intensity of a red portion of the LED and by pressing either S1 or S2, the control moves to the green LED channel. Pressing either S1 or S2 again will move the control to the blue LED channel. The PIC32MM USB Curiosity Development Board is a low-cost development board to evaluate the PIC32MM0256 GPM064 XLP microcontroller with low-voltage sleep mode of under 650 nanoamps. This device also features 256 KB ECC flash, 64 pins, and USB connectivity. This board features a fully integrated programmer slash debugger two Microelectronica Microbus expansion interfaces that gives the user access to over 300 add-on clickboards, a USB Micro-B connector, and two X32 interfaces that facilitates access to the PIC32 audio codec daughter card, making this an ideal evaluation board for audio applications. This Curiosity board also comes pre-programmed with the RGB color mixing application described earlier. And when connected to a Windows-based host computer via USB, the board enumerates as a custom slash vendor class USB device, which can interface with a user-defined custom demo application. Aside from the pre-programmed demo, for customers who want to develop USB audio applications with the PIC32MM GPM family, the USB audio headset demo is a perfect starting point that leverages the X32 interfaces on this board. The demo implements USB isochronous digital audio streaming to I2S conversion via the AC32-0100 PIC32 audio codec daughter board. The demo supports the following capabilities. Full stereo 48kHz digital audio playback, simultaneous microphone sampling and I2S streaming input capability. Implements fine resolution fractional clock division for eliminating audio playback rate mismatch with the host. It also implements a HID audio control interface for digitally adjusting volume, pause, play, etc. Now, let's look at the demo setup. The demo consists of the PIC32MM USB Curiosity Development Board, audio codec daughter board, an Android-based smartphone, and standard audio speakers. Make sure to connect the audio codec daughter card into the X32 interface A, the left side X32 interface, a speaker to the HP Out audio jack on the daughter board, and plug the demo board into the USB host, which in this case is the smartphone via a USB Micro-B connector. Now that the setup is complete, choose and play any video from the smartphone and the audio should play back through the speakers. If no audio is heard or the audio volume is too low, try adjusting the potentiometer R37, which is configured to send digital up-down information over a HID interface to adjust the volume setting on the host. Pressing the push button S2 on the board should have the effect of sending pause or play command to the host over the HID interface. 
If the host and the media playing software on the host supports this input, this should have the effect of stopping or restarting the audio playback. Changing media via the board is easily accomplished by using the S1 button to navigate to the previous track and the S3 button can be used to move to the next track. The PIC32MM ecosystem is supported by MPLAB Code Configurator, MPLAB Express Cloud-based IDE, MPLAB X IDE, and the MPLAB X32 compiler. That's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments section if you would like to see more videos like this. For more information on the PIC32MM Curiosity Development Board, visit microchip.com slash PIC32MM Curiosity. And for more information on the PIC32MM USB Curiosity Board, please visit microchip.com slash PIC32MM USB Curiosity.